Divine Bold Beginnings 93. This will be our Velvet Evolution Butterfly Effect. This will be from July 6th until July 12th. Welcome, DBB93 Squad. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you subscribe. I hope you like the videos and become a squad member. So let's get into this reading. This will be more of evolving. This will be what we will be working on and a few messages from the divine that we need to hear at the moment. So let's get into it. I'm going to do these cards first. We're going to go one by one. We have laughter. Uplift yourself and those around you through loving laughter. The next card we have is simplify your life. You've had so much going on that you're spread too thin. This has to change now. So your vitality can recharge. Yes. Family harmony. Your loved ones form a strong pillar of support. Embrace their love and put past issues behind you. Patience. Your prayers have been heard and they will be answered. Yes. And we have financial healing. Your money struggles are a thing of the past. Be open to all avenues to receiving and you'll be provided for in every way. Let's go to the next set of cards. I know I'm just going to mess this up, y'all. Don't worry about me. I just so screwed that up. It's okay. Because you still get the message. Okay. So we have new home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. Holiday. The answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or holiday getaway. Business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. Practice patience, you guys. Please, patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. birthday a significant birthday holds the answer to your question emotional healing as your heart heals of old emotional pain you receive new blessings and love now I want to put those away because now we get into the butterfly day and this will be what we will be working on from the 7th until the 12th, but it can linger on a little longer. So let me just put these away. There we go. Okay, so we have memories. And I will go into touch detail with them a little later after I lay them out. Seeking and finding. new exercise program sentimental feelings emotions moving changing your mind 
and be true to you. So I feel like with this particular set of cards, our butterfly effect will be focusing on us for one. I feel like some of you are remembering past events that happened. It could be with family. For some, okay, for some it's family and for some it's your significant other. For some of you, I feel like this person is not exactly who they used to be when you guys first interacted. Hmm. For some of you, this person has grown beyond their childish games. And for some of you, this person is the same exact person they were when you guys first met. I feel like someone is put trying like trying to pull a wool over some of your eyes to make you get into this commitment and they're really not committed. So I feel like that's why you have changing your mind for some. Remember, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and let what doesn't fly by by. But some of you are changing your mind because you looked at this person, you either put this person or this situation, it could be a family situation, you put someone on a pedestal. And this person kind of like pooped on you. It could be a friend. But whoever this is, you have a definite emotional tie to them. So you're changing your mind how you're going to go about things. I feel like now you're looking at yourself and seeing what what you going to do. You're so tired of saving other people that it's time for you to save yourself. And there's nothing wrong with saving yourself this time. And I think that's why you've been going through this change of maybe losing friends or cutting people out of your life. I feel like you have like the Eight of Cups injury. I mean, not injury. <laughs> you have the Eight of Cups energy. But while you have the Eight of Cups injury, uh, why well, keep saying injury? Is somebody injured and you're changing your mind about how you're going to do things and go about things? But I feel like, besides, that's besides the point, but I feel like I just lost it. Oh, my goodness. At the end of the day, you're saving yourself. You're not trying to go back through this heartbreak because... This heartbreak caused a lot of emotions to come out. It caused you to... I just... I don't know. Like, the energy I'm feeling is very lonely. Like, even though these individuals didn't serve you, I felt like these individuals were the only individuals that you were really communicating with. And it's not that you don't get along with other people. But you don't like to let a lot of people into your personal life. I feel like somebody is playing on the memories you used to have. Like, it, it could be them dreaming about the memories you used to have. But I feel like someone is going to come back around... I don't know, like this person is kind of a narcissist because they know how to like sweet talk you and get these memories back flowing to when you guys first started talking or you first met.
But with that being said, it doesn't matter because you're seeking and finding. You're trying to figure out why every time this person comes back, do they give you little to nothing? And you want it so much. It's like it excites your dopamine. And when they leave, you feel like you're left high and dry. But eventually, once you get through figuring out what's going on, because this is definitely like the moon card, you're going to start moving. You're going to start moving things around. You're going to start playing the game a lot different. You're going to start playing the game to where you win and not someone else. It's definitely emotional for you. You definitely have emotional ties with this person. You both could have been intimate. And that's why it's emotional. You could have children together. But I feel like through all this, you learning how to be yourself. You learning how to be true to you. Because at the end of the day, you're realizing that who has your back better than yourself. So that's when you come into this new exercise program. You're getting your head on straight. You're going to start eating a lot different. You're going to start exercising more. You're going to get your energy back up. And one thing I want to add to this new exercise program is make sure you meditate because this is taking a lot of energy out of you to even sit in this low vibration. You're a high vibration type of person. You're very woke. Because not everyone can understand tarot. Not everyone will dive into trying to learn what's going on. You changing your mind. You looking at things different. You're you're in a hangman perspective. So from July 6th until July 12th. You are winning your own championship. You are the one that's going to be victorious. You know how to be lovingly assertive and you know how to kill people with kindness. You don't always have to argue back with someone to get your point across. And you're learning that. Again, people are playing on your emotions because they know how to make you tick, to make you pop, boom. Remember, ground yourself and walk away. Because this person that I'm seeing, they like to see the rise out of you. This person is so used to conflict that when you don't have conflict with them, they're going to make conflict. Regardless. And it doesn't mean that this person will never change because anyone can change. Everyone has free will. But I feel like this person, they had so many things going good in their life that they don't know anything other than being negative. They don't understand why all this good fortune is coming towards them. And that's why they need to start chaos. That's why they're coming towards you to start this disruption. But they know that at the end of the day, they can't hold a candlestick to your energy, your emotions, or your power. I'm going to leave it at that for right now. 
I thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next videos. If you would like to leave comments, please leave comments. I do respond. Have a great evening or morning. I don't know what it is when you see this, but when you see it, it's meant for you to see at that time. Have a great day.